Hello, welcome to IBD School. My name is Swati Patel, one of the GI inflammatory bowel disease doctors at the University of Michigan. This video is part of a two-part series reviewing a very commonly checked blood test in inflammatory bowel disease, the complete blood count, or the CBC. The first video will review one part of the CBC that measures factors related to the red blood cells. Part two will review the remainder of the CBC, including the white blood cell count as well as the platelet count. There are many components to the CBC, some of which are important and some of which are not. In this video, we will review the components of the CBC, what they mean, and why they are important. When you first review your CBC results, it can be overwhelming given the number of values reported. As mentioned earlier, the CBC measures three categories of cells, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. As you can see, the values reported as part of the CBC are in reference to one of these types of cells. However, not each of these values are important. We will review the types of blood cells individually and emphasize the important parts of the CBC. Red blood cells collect oxygen from the air you breathe into your lungs and travel to your heart, which then pumps the cells carrying oxygen to the rest of your body. The oxygen is then extracted from the red blood cells by organs to perform normal functions of the body. The red blood cells then travel back to the lungs to unload carbon dioxide and pick up more oxygen. Hemoglobin is the molecule within the red blood cells that carries oxygen. Iron is a very important component of hemoglobin. The hemoglobin test measures the amount of hemoglobin in blood and is a good measure of the blood's ability to carry oxygen throughout the body. Hematocrit measures the concentration of red blood cells, the value given as a percentage of red blood cells in a volume of blood. For example, a hematocrit of 44 means that 44% of the blood's volume is made of red blood cells. Anemia is when hemoglobin and hematocrit are low. This can be from blood loss or iron deficiency. If you are anemic, your red blood cells may not be able to deliver enough oxygen to the important organs of your body, such as the brain, the heart, the kidneys, or your muscles. There are a variety of other indices that are reported as part of the CBC, but the two most important are the MCV and the RDW. The MCV is a report of how large your red blood cells are. If they are larger than normal, a value greater than 100, this may be due to a vitamin deficiency, such as folic acid or B12 deficiency, or it may be a result of a medication use. If your MCV is low, this may be an indication of iron deficiency. The RDW is a measure of how differently shaped all of your red blood cells are. If this number is high, it may indicate that you have multiple reasons for anemia. As you can see, there are several reported values related to red blood cells that are not as important. If these values are abnormal, it is unlikely a serious concern unless the hemoglobin, hematocrit, MCV, or RDW are also abnormal. In this video, we have reviewed one component of the CBC, which includes the red blood cells. In the next video, we will review the white blood cells and the platelet count.